He said to me, "You cannot play if you cannot earn." I am grateful that in my life I found many ways to earn through play, and play through earning. It's a life I wish for all RISD grads, and I'm sure their parents feel the same way. <laughs> so, I began at RISD officially in June, but when I was appointed last December, I couldn't wait to get started. A new challenge awaited me, a bigger, more important thing that I'd ever done, and I couldn't just let it sit over there, separate from me, waiting for it. I wanted to touch it. Talk to it, see it, and feel it. And as many of experience, I began a blog inside RISD. Sorry about the blog. The day of my announcement, to say hi to everyone, to hear who they were, and what was on their minds. At the time, parking, poetry, and holiday gifts, among other things. It was December. I want to let you see for yourselves a bit about the way I think. And what I was thinking about. I also came to campus and looked around a lot. I had random breakfast and lunch in the cafeteria with students. I went on a 9 p.m. jog with them. A little dangerous. I sniffed stinky specimens at the nature lab over there, and I took a tour of campus with public safety at midnight. <laughs> what I was looking for was RISD. And it wasn't hard to find. I wanted to know where are we starting? Where is here, anyway? Today, I give you the results of my findings. We are starting here, in a place that's different, where students and faculty can be exactly who they want to be, often for the first time in their lives, where passion. For the pursuit of creating translates into hard work, and where it's acknowledged that creativity is a rigorous process that takes true discipline, where artistic pursuit is not dismissed as a frivolous add-on or a timeout from real work, but where it is the real work, where students push themselves to their limits. You guys. And RISD doesn't just mean the Rhode Island School of Design. It means reason I'm sleep deprived, <laughs> like me. So we're starting here, in a place obsessed with materiality, physicality, and the primacy of handcraft. From what I've seen at RISD, if you can't touch it, you can't believe it. It, you, you think it's real because it has to be real. It's a far cry from what I've seen all over the world at other art and design schools, where many students can't effectively use their hands due to over reliance on computer-based tools. Here at RISD, however, students learn to respect the grain of the wood, the way certain metals will bend under pressure and others won't. How a piece of paper sounds when it crumples. At RISD, we foster the ability to build without shortcuts, from the ground up, without prefabricated parts, and above all, seek to give birth to that which is authentic, authentic, versus simply convenient. So it's not just making for the sake of production. We are starting here, in a place where process always outweighs product. Where, in the words of our provost Jesse Shafran, thinking is a kind of making, and making is a kind of thinking. Where teachers are the leaders, the academic programs are our core, and the curriculum instills students with a unique education in the visual liberal arts. Risley faculty teach expansively, showing students how to pick something up. Examine it from all angles and find their way in from any point. Our students are modern-day cultural hackers, helping us break through the noise and find meaning in it all. So, we are starting here in a fully human place, 
where emotion is real, legitimate, and very, very public. Where our working hands and minds are never too far from our hearts, and where there is no better reason to do something than to get a feeling out, to express something that perhaps can't be said. It all starts here. But it haven't always been here at RISD. We're also starting here, in a world of 2008. It's a world where technology has changed the notion of what it means to be an artist and a designer. For us here at RISD, it means faculty, curators, students, librarians, and staff must ask the core questions about honoring our analog makings and being digital at the same time. I'm talking about more than the impact of Photoshop and other stock tools that have, have homogenized the output of creative work worldwide. I'm talking about how it is now possible to produce jewelry in your home in Brooklyn and have it, have it bought seconds later on the web by someone in Shanghai. How as museum director Hope Allswang reminds us, museums and the performing arts are more popular and more compelling than ever before, simply because they are live. Live, like we are here. We are starting here, in a world that is smaller and flatter than it used to be. Students know more country names than ever before and have an awareness of problems on a global scale far more than they used to. Despite this, the power of personal, face-to-face -face interactions is more real than ever before. Peer-to-peer, one-on-one interactions are still the way you make someone see your true viewpoint. There is still the place where true love is born, and there is still no believing like touching, hugging, kissing. Local still matters, and for this reason, I often say the world is global, global, global and local. Art and design has a powerful role in this expansive global universe to take all of the complexity and make sense of it on a human scale. RISD must rise to this challenge because we can. If we were a company, these external forces would decide our reality. They would push us into a box and force us to think in that tiny box. But we're not a company. We're not a business. We're a college. And we're a museum. And it's our unique blessing to be able to pick and choose the changing realities that we want to learn from. Once we choose them, we can stress them and play with them, and ultimately shape reality for the better. That's how we do it here at RISD.